morning guys um it is some time i don't know what time it is on thursday thanksgiving it's 8 59 i've been up since 5 30 on a day that i could have and should have slept in uh but i did not um my neck's actually been kind of sore so i didn't really feel like sleeping in dog He's keeping watch, making sure everything's safe. So, <clears throat> so I've been up since 5.30. Um, in about a half an hour, I'm going to start something that I've never done before. I mean, I've kind of done it before, but not in this way. So we're gonna be going to um, two Thanksgiving dinners today. Uh, the second one I have to make mashed potatoes for and um, so I'm trying something new because Corey doesn't like them to be reheated. And last year I had to, we went to the first Thanksgiving, came home, I made the mashed potatoes, then we left. And it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to make the mashed potatoes because you gotta cut, you gotta boil them, you gotta do the stuff and add the things. So. I have a crock pot that I've never used before and I think I googled how to do mashed potatoes in the crock pot and I think I have a pretty good idea. I found a couple things um, that might be helpful. Um, so I'm going to try that today and then I think we're going to put up the Christmas decorations but before any of that stuff happens. I need to kind of clean up the kitchen a little bit because it's pretty disgusting. What is this? I know I did the thing with my hair, but this is just I'm beautiful. I am beautiful. No matter what you think, the world can't bring me down. money shot okay so I'm gonna get started on preparing my potatoes for the cooking so the first thing that I'm gonna do um, you know what I'm just going to kind of try to take you guys along with my fantastic journey and, oh, okay so okay. first I have a stick of unsalted butter which I will cube up okay so I cubed my butter um, I obviously couldn't film doing this, but I cut it in half, then I cut it in half again, and then I just kind of cut it into little bitty cubes. Why did I say it like that? So that's what they're going to look like. Finished product. I also have one cup of Swanson's chicken broth. So I'm going to add this to my crack pad. Look at it. So I've got that in there. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna probably dab the butter around on top of the potatoes. Um, so I am going to get to cleaning, and peeling, and dicing up my potatoes. Okay, and here is five pounds of potato peeled, and I'm going to dice them. So. Did it work? Uh, anyway, so this is five pounds of <laughs> uh, just regular russet potatoes. Uh, that I uh, peeled and diced and I realized that potatoes are little jerks because I hate peeling them. So here, don't mind all the mess. Don't mind all the mess. I'm 
just going to kind of mix up the potatoes, get them coated. I don't know. The chicken broth. There we go. Here it is. And you can use vegetable broth if you'd like. You can use vegan butter if you want. Oh, hello. If you want to make this a vegan or vegetarian dish. So, there's that. So now, I'm going to take my butter and I'm going to flirt it all over the potatoes. So, I did five, I, the recipe on the interweb on the line said for five pounds of potatoes, I think, uh, it was one cup of liquid and you can use any liquid that you'd like. I like to flavor it with chicken broth because it just, or any kind of broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, anything, um, but it just gives it extra flavor. Potatoes are very bland, so I always like to add as much flavor as possible. Okay. So there's the butter, and I'm going to add a little bit of salt and garlic powder because yes some onion powder I've got some basil that my mom cooked in her own garden cooked in her own garden oh goodness or oregano at some time just a little bit way I got it so I'm going to stir this up one more time kind of get that mixed in there maybe a little bit and we'll probably add some again as we mash or uh, yeah mash it um, but this is it so the recipe says we just I'm gonna I'm hoping that this is not gonna be a fire hazard um, I don't know what to do with myself right now don't feel comfortable having it in this. Do I? I don't know. The microwave doesn't catch on fire. Okay. So, <laughs> I've got it plugged in. Hopefully that's not going to be sketchy. Um, I've got my top. I've never used a crock pot, guys. I'm scared. So I put the cover on and we're going to turn it on high. How do I know if it's on? This one doesn't have a light. No. Okay, well, we're gonna check on this in a little bit. Okay, so it is. Oh, here we go. Okay. It has been four hours and the potatoes look like they are done maybe. Um, so I'm going to put this over here. Um, as you can see, there's some moisture at the bottom. And the only thing that I did find was that the potatoes are kind of sticking to the side. So there's going to be like some crispy bits maybe. So. I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Okay, so I like to use an electric mixer. I'm just gonna mash this up a little bit and let's turn it on. And I added just a couple plots of sour cream. Uh, that is instead of milk and all that kind of stuff. So I use sour cream. So let's see how this goes. So we had a slight misfunction. Apparently my mixer does not work. It's done this before and the next time I use it, it'll work. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna try to hand mash. <laughs> okay, so they're done. Um, you just basically have to add the seasonings and sour cream and a little more butter um, just until it tastes good. So I obviously add a lot of garlic and some salt and onion powder. I added a little more herbs, some basil and stuff, um, but those are the potatoes. 
So um, I've kept them in the crock pot and I've got them on keep warm. Um, just because we've got like another 45 minutes till we have to leave. So, Bye. okay guys, so we got home from our second Thanksgiving and we decided to go ahead and decorate for Christmas. So I'll kind of show you what we did. Before we found this neat little candle thing, um, for like 10 bucks at a new store in town. And I really like it. It's really pretty. And if we go over here, you'll see my pretty fireplace and our pretty tree. Yum. And Milo's got a ornament down there that will stay facing forward. my first Christmas ornament and this ornament was my grandma's and I got it when she passed away. Like I said there's the fireplace and there's a C here and a J here and this is Christmas. She's been mine since I was a very little girl. And we just got this new little tree. And we got this sign. It says Merry Christmas. So that's it. So I think I'm going to sign off for the night. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, have a good night. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.